So guys, we talked about the problems with factory edges and I said I was gonna have to sharpen this and I was getting ready to do it, but I thought that I would do a quick, another quick short-er video about what's really happening when you sharpen a knife. And there's some stuff that I have, like people just think you're just lining up the edge. On each of these abrasives, be it this is diamond, this is a natural Arkansas stone, this is a ceramic, there's other kinds, there's aluminum oxide and things like that. So basically what you have is, we'll look at this one. Uh, you have abrasives that are going to cut into the material of the steel because they're harder than the steel. And what's going to happen is you're removing material at that very edge. But that's not the only thing that's happening. What happens with that is you're establishing a scratch pattern. So the coarser your stone, the coarser that scratch pattern is going to be. Think of a knife like a, a unit, like a single directional, uh, uh, you know, unidirectional saw blade, like a, like a, like a, either you have to push to cut or you have to pull to cut. And what's going to happen is these stones that you use are not only going to remove the material here at the edge and allow you to realign that and bring those two edges back together, but they're also imparting a scratch pattern on this that acts a lot like a saw. So those teeth are going to be going this way and your coarser ones are going to be the bigger teeth on a saw because they're gonna cut in and leave a much deeper and broader scratch pattern because it's larger abrasive. You start working your way up through the scratch pattern, you can see that those diamonds are fairly large. These diamonds are a good bit smaller. And then you start getting to something like this, which is way, way finer than, why won't it focus? Way, way finer than what you saw on that. And then you get up into some stuff that is just really, really, nice. sorry about that, it couldn't focus, but then you start getting into stuff here that is just ultra, ultra fine. Now, the big difference is the coarser that edge, the rougher the edge, the more aggressive it's gonna cut, but it's not gonna leave you a fine finished cut edge. So depending on the materials you're gonna cut, you're gonna have to pick and choose and think what uh, what coarseness do I want this edge to be at? You're going to have to pick the proper abrasives. The other thing you have to think too is how hard is the steel? What's the material? How hard is it going to be for me to use something like an aluminum oxide, which you can use on a lot of steels, but it's not as aggressive. A lot of times you're going to want to work with something that's going to cut a lot more aggressively and then finish on something that's going to give you a finer edge. A lot of times I will use a very coarse stone and work my way up through diamond and things like that. And then on these finer stones, if I want a finished product that is a lot smoother, and it just depends on what you're gonna do, the cutting task and your, per your personal preference. But I will tell you that the finer the edge, the finer the stone, taking it up in grit makes it no sharper. Once you've established that apex and you've apexed it, it doesn't get any sharper. All you've done is refine that scratch pattern or those sawtooths and give the saw teeth, I should say, and go from like a really coarse cross cut saw to more of a silky finish saw, depending on what you're gonna cut. So there's a lot of stuff out there that people just, they, they, for me, it just makes sense. A lot of other people have not, you know, really delved into what, what happens when you're sharpening. So not only are you just aligning that angle and thinning it out and giving you the profile you want, but you're establishing that scratch pattern that's gonna be the most beneficial for what you're gonna do. I have knives that I I have knives that I take up to super high grit because they do specific things. And then I have woodworking tools, super high grit leaves you a better finish. It all depends on what the end is going to be. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.